Hi, it's me, Bamp, and welcome back, or welcome to the channel. Now, I'm going to be taking a look at the Latum. Latum? Latum. Um, it's one of the new incarnate weapons, or evolving weapons, whatever you want to call it, incarnate, evolve whatever it actually should be the first one you pick up because it's the one you can pick up with the lowest rank it is the pistol out of the bunch and i touch over what i have so far um if you check out my other video there will be a link in the description below i actually show you how to get one and i touch down on these now the last one i don't have unlocked yet which is a shame because um it would give it so much more damage but you're required to have all three to unlock the last perk so that's kind of a bummer but i'm going to show you guys it in some lockram then I'm going to show you guys it in actual gameplay in this video. But first, let's just look at the build. It's a generic build I have on. As you can see, generic pistol build. I haven't even completed it yet. And can I say, I just think this thing is powerful. But you know what to say, the proof it's in the pudding oh and i did want to point out real quick before i continue that i have heat and radiation on here because the radio attack that radiation by default and then heat you know it's something i added i don't know if that's a bug or permanent i hope it's permanent because it just seems cool i don't know how Radical it is, but it seems cool. So anyway, let's get to the simulacrum, shall we? Okay, we're in the simulacrum. Now I need to spawn some enemies and furthermore some super tanky enemies because I need them to not die. So uh, we don't want them too bad. So Ah, we'll choose heavy gunner, corrupted heavy gunner, that, that should be fine. Let's spawn, uh, let's just spawn 17 of them, I guess. 17, pause AI, we'll go ahead and beef up the level, okay? We will go ahead and summon level 100. You know what? Let, let's go max, okay? Max level 180 enemies. The AI's paused. Okay, so these are not the enemies I asked for, but these are in the back. So anyway, Let's see how this weapon works. It works? Okay, you get a bunch of headshots to charge up the weapon. It shows once it's fully charged. Then you press your alternate fire on console. They are attacking each other because of the radiation. But yeah, on console it is R3 on you see, I believe it's middle mouse by default. And then you see, this is the alternate fire. As you can see, it just totally melts. Even at level 180, right then and there. You saw the build. I don't even have it fully maxed up. Let's just kill that dude. He's kind of messing with my vibe. And this is probably the most brilliant part about the incarnate weapon um well this one at least it only starts ticking away while i'm shooting 
Like if I stop shooting, then it doesn't have a countdown timer. It won't start doing stuff again until I start shooting again. Then it does a countdown. And you know, once it runs out, let's go ahead, let it run out. It reloads and then you just have to get headshots. And then, you know, it will do it again. Go into the same mode, rinse and repeat. And then an enemy dead. And you know, let's take out this enemy just because we can. Oh, and this dead wonder on angels in case you were curious how it works on angels but if you do press the alternate fire again you will lose all your energy oh and i also before we go into live gameplay want to point out that you can just have it partially charged and do it as well you don't have to wait for it to fully charge. So you'll get one, two headshots and you want to start from there. You will run out sooner, of course, but it will let you do that. Like, see, let's say I get one headshot. It charges it a little. Then I have enough to take out that enemy and go on towards the next one yeah and bada bing bada boom now let's get into actual gameplay you know real case scenario shall we okay we are solo on mott right now and i am going to use it in a real case Scenario. This is the only weapon I have, so hopefully I'm able to do something. I'm not the best at headshots in the world, but as you can see, I did get one. Of course, it depends. It seems to depend on the quality of enemy, how much it actually gives me per headshot. And headshot, headshot, headshot. Let's say. I'm done for now and I want to start shooting. I can actually start shooting. I have a fair amount of energy. So, yeah. Just destroy them. As you saw, it took out those level 180 XMS. You know, heavy gunner. So, it of course had no problem with these level 40. Actually, the level 40 might be a little too much for it since even the basic mode, you know, defeats them pretty easily. Okay, and it won't activate till you choose to activate. So even once it's filled, if you don't press that alternate fire, it will not activate. Usually I like to zoom in, get a few, you know, hits or whatever. My favorite thing to do though is to use this against the boss. Because a boss doesn't die in like one or two hits. So I'm able to actually shoot more headshots. I'm going to try to get this filled up before, you know, I really actually want to get this filled up. I don't know why, but before the end of this, um, you know, five minutes, I want to get it filled up. And it's filled up. So let's go. Okay. We do got to go to life support because this is actually a mission and I kind of don't want to fail just because I forgot about life support so and you know splash damage is a thing too so yeah this weapon is overall a very very good weapon in 
my humble opinion. Now, will it be better once I get the final perk? Yes, I expect it will. Because the final perk gives it a chance to do extra damage for every body shot. So, and that, that actually is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Now, the good thing is, if I had another weapon equipped, I could switch to it, switch back, and still keep my progress that I've made so far on the weapon. Now, if you do spawn, respawn, like, you know, if you die, then come back to life, or you know, fall off the map or whatever, you will lose all of your progress. I just want to point that out. And as you can see, it transformed again back into a regular weapon. That wasn't quite a headshot. Okay, keep in mind, it demands headshots. Um, critical hits aren't necessarily headshots. All heads, all Headshots are critical hits, but not all critical hits are headshots, if that makes sense. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna take out this enemy real quick. Of course, the closer you get, the easier it is, because fall off damage is the real thing. So, yeah. Actually, let's see. Far away, it seems to still do pretty well. Okay. We got one. Let's say we want to kill some enemies right now. Now against higher level, just one only kill like one and a half enemies. But just one charged it for quite a bit over here against these enemies. Now I am going to extract. The reason I'm telling you guys this like this, because if you don't want any spoilers at all, I will catch you guys in a future video. Thank you for stopping by. But I am going to actually show you guys where to go to get this weapon. So... If you don't want any spoilers at all, now's your time to leave the video. And yeah, without further ado, here's how you get the weapon. You go to the chrysalis aboard the Zymon. You hit fast travel. You go to Cavalio. Cavalio? And simply what you do is you browse his wares, okay? It will be the first one, the very first one. Now you do, according to this, you do have to be MR14 at least to use this weapon. So definitely keep that in mind. But yeah, that is how you get this weapon like i said it's the first one you can get because it's mostly already unlocked from the giga i think you'll have to be rank one maybe not even rank one so yeah um i'll be honest i thought it was very weak or going to be very weak since it was is the first one you unlock but it proven to be strong so yeah i i'm digging it i am digging it but yeah with that said i'm going to end the video hopefully you found it helpful in some way shape or form and let me know in the comment section below do you plan on getting this weapon yourself do you plan on actually using it or is it going to be like a mr fodder type weapon you know level it up then forget it 
let me know comment section below with that said i will catch you guys in the future later